Okay, this is the engine compartment of a 1974 Z28 Camaro, a real Z28 Camaro. Um, they were kind of winding down production at that point of time, but this is one of those guys that kind of snuck out of the plant yet before they got a, uh, a chance, before the government had a chance to completely squash everything. Um, really neat, uh, neat setup here. Uh, the engine itself is... Uh, uh, it's a 350 that we know. It could be more than that, but we assume it's a 350 uh, designation from the, the block at least. Uh, it does have the correct dual snorkel, short snorkel air cleaner on it that like the 70, 71, 72s had on them. Uh, finned aluminum valve pan covers with them, Corvette style valve pan covers. The intake appears to be a little bit different uh, configuration, so it's painted orange. I'm going to assume it's some sort of an aluminum intake manifold. It almost looks like an LT1 manifold somewhat. It has a Carter AFB carburetor on it, Edelbrock carburetor, um, which normally it came with a quadrajet. This is a much better system uh, than the quadrajet system was. Uh, the engine itself is all fresh. Everything in this car is done from the beginning to the end. It has a fresh coat of paint on it because the engine has been out and completely redone. A lot of upgrades internally. I can hear that the camshaft is a lot more cam than came in these guys from the factory. Uh, it sounds like it has a set of forged pistons in it, so someone's done some work internally on this vehicle. It uh, has a set of uh, high temp ceramic coated headers on them that aren't even discolored yet. Uh, they are a long tube design, I'm going to call them inch and three quarters. Uh, real nice, uh, nice looking design on them. The um, car has power steering and it has power disc brakes on it, and as you can see, the uh, vacuum booster is absolutely brand new, the same as the master cylinder, which is dual stage. And all the brake lines are stainless steel with the wire windings on them, just the way they should be from the factory. Yet. And um, everything is just new in this vehicle, everything. Uh, it has a, a, a Delco style um, top battery in it. it it's a, a modern design, but it does have the top that designates it as a Delco original equipment style battery in it. Fan shroud the way it uh, uh, was from General Motors, high flow uh, radiator, flex fan on the front of it. All the hose is still intact on this guy for the smog uh, uh, vapor system that uh, was mandated at that point in time. <coughs> All your vapor from the gas tank and any, any lines that uh, would be associated with any fuel uh, run into this um, uh, carbon uh, canister here that uh, supposedly filtered the uh, uh, impurities out of it. The um, fender wells are semi-flat black just the way they should be as, as under the hood the same way semi-flat black. Uh, this one has a uh, under hood pad on it which is an original equipment type pad with the original type fasteners also uh, that came with it. Uh, the original equipment style alternator on it, the belts are all new. Hoses are GM hoses, uh, top and bottom in the correct style, with the correct style tower clamps that came with them. GM hoses for the uh, heat that goes to the passenger compartment, which is still intact. Uh, overflow reservoir, uh, correct for the year, and everything nice and fresh. The, the bottle's not deteriorated any at all. The, um, let's see, what else can I pick on here? The um, vent area in front of the uh, windshield, the cowl area on top there, which more, normally those plastic pieces on 70 Chevelles or you know any of these GM cars in that era are deteriorated and fell apart and people just take them and throw away. These are still original equipment style and just as fresh and clean as you'd hope to find. Uh, the under hood of this car is just exemplary. It really is. You can see it's, everything's been attended to. The um, uh, upper A-arms have new bushings in them. Everything uh, um, just looking from here I can see a new Pittman arm, I'm sure there's a, or a new idler arm, I'm sure the Pittman arm is just as new. Can't really see it. Um, everything on this car has been attended to. There's not one single thing that uh, has been left uh, uh, to chance here. Everything has been completely reconditioned to as new. Everything is argent colored the way it should have been from the factory. The original equipment style horn still intact. Um, inner fender panels. You can't even feel where they, when they painted this car, they must have done it in, in, in tire panels because there's no edges anywhere where they're painted the outside and just left the interior alone. It's, um, it's just an exemplary uh, a job, especially under the hood of here. I haven't even gone over this car yet. We just got it, uh, so I'm winging it at this point. To, but this is a real 
impressive engine compartment. It, uh, it shows a lot of originality, but yet I know just from starting this thing up and moving it around that that's not an original uh, style uh, 74 engine. That thing has been upgraded to uh, probably at least an LT1 spec motor. So let's go over the rest of it, see if we can show you something there. Hi, you're at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Another hot, steamy day down here. And uh, Devin and I are going to show you a 1974 Z28 Camaro today. Uh, this car is like the end of an era. There was uh, nothing pretty much past this, unless you got into the 80s and got into Buick Grand Nationals or maybe some of the late uh, um, 70s Pontiac Trans Ams and the 400 motors, uh, four speeds. But uh, this was kind of the end of it for pretty much everyone. 72 was really the end, and GM stuck a few out in 73 and 4 yet. But uh, uh, we're going to go over it for you and uh, show you everything that we know about it. So let's get started. Correct color blue that came on this car. I don't know the name of the color, but it's an exact uh, duplication of the paint job that this car would have been released with. The uh, fender fitment to the hood is just absolutely spot on. You cannot get it any better than this. Look at this. This is absolute precise. And as many contours as we just went over, across the top of the fender, down across here, across the top of this, up again, across the nose at an angle. I mean, how many contours do you have to go to? And there's not a deviation on any of it. And the same way down this side, fender to the uh, hood, right up to the uh, windshield area, just as sweet as can be. The paint on this car, we're really lucking out on these paint jobs. This thing is not driver quality. It is definitely more of a show quality paint job. GM never put paint on a car like this back in the 70s. Um, there's no fogginess, no milkiness whatsoever to it. It's complete metallic blue that just blends in just perfectly. There's no, uh, uh, no distortion whatsoever in the color of the paint. Uh, this is the stripe that's put on a hood. It's a vinyl striping and uh, Z28 obvious designation. Nobody can miss that. There is a little tiny, uh, you probably won't even see it. I don't know if Deb can even show it to you. And I can feel it. It's hard to see, but it's there. Looks like someone left something on the air cleaner at some point in time and went to close the hood. There was a little tiny protrusion there. Certainly nothing to fix. And we're not going to make any attempt to go ahead and repair that and, and, and hopefully uh, um, get this hood stripe to, to go back on the way it is. Um, that one I'll fix it. It's, uh, it's there. I'm pointing it out to you. It's so minuscule that you'll see it if you really look for it. But if you don't, you're, not, you're never going to even... It's not even going to be there. Headlight buckets, anodized aluminum, and just as fresh and clean as you'd ever want to find. Look at these marker lamps. Are they brand new or what? They're crystal clear. They look like cut crystal. Look at that. This bucket the same way as the other one. Aluminum bumpers, mandated. I guess they were what? Five mile an hour bumpers or something back then. I don't remember what they were. Some kind of bumper that had the endorse a certain mile an hour impact. Bumper fitment itself is absolutely flawless. The uh, bumper guard on the front, your rubber piece molding, is uh, no marks, no cuts whatsoever in it. This is supposed to be a um, argent dull, dull, dull finish. It isn't. Someone has removed that down to the original aluminum and then buffed it to a high luster. And um, it's something that could, made, could be made to look like chrome if you wanted to. Jeff has some polish that he uses that's out of this world that he can make anything look like chrome. Uh, front bumper, underneath there's no marks, no dents whatsoever. Look at this, there's even the grill area underneath that uh, is undisrupted. The valance with the um, um, brake duct uh, cutouts in them, just as nice as could possibly be. There's no scrapes or anything underneath this car. Uh, plastic in the grill, no windows missing whatsoever, Chevy designation in the front, and that is a nice front end of a car. The fitment is spot on, the bumper fitment is spot on, uh, all your amenities on the front, the, your, your headlights, your um, um, parking lights, uh, grill enclosures, everything is just absolutely flawless. You get that one little tiny mark, and I can't even find it now. So I have no idea. It's there somewhere. But that's it. We're going to go down the side and show you what we can there. Okay, this is the driver's side of our Z28 Camaro. I really like this car. I had one of these uh, way back when. It was actually a 73. 
I never had a 74, but mine was a 73. But uh, I really like that car. I drove it for a while. It was a four-speed just like this one. Fantastic piece of uh, automotive history. The paint on this car is to die for. I mean, you can't see it in the video, but I'm telling you that this paint and fit and finish on this thing is spot on. The uh, side marker lamp, which is loose. Um, we have to tighten that up, but it fits flawlessly. You can see that the, uh, the front spoiler on this goes underneath and it does have the uh, brake cooling ducts in them that can be made functional. I guess they are semi-functional at this point, but uh, GM did incorporate that into the design of this car. No fender lip molding. This guy was all business. Z28 designation on the front of it. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Clean down to the rocker panel. Unbelievable. Trim around the front windshield. One little dinghy right here. I can feel it. I can't see it. I still can't see it. What the heck? I can feel it. Yeah, there it is. There's a little tiny mark there. It looked like maybe through the years a stone came up and went bing. And that was it. Um, VIN plate, nice and legible, where the dash transitions are to the base of the windshield. Uh, you can't get it any cleaner or nicer than this. This is just as new condition. There's just no question about it. This car is just as new. Top of the dashboard, there's no deviations or cracks or uh, workage whatsoever. The wiper arms are correct, the blades are not. They're a more modern design, um, like an Anco blade, but they are metal, so. Um, very similar design-wise, they're not those plastic ones with the fins and everything in them, but um, I probably won't change that. They're pretty good looking there, and actually they're black and you can't see them, but the silver ones on there, you will see them. A uh, set of sport mirrors, uh, which would have been standard equipment on a Z28 from the factory. The top on this car is just glass. There's not a single deviation in it, not a single mar. It's just an absolute wet glass. No drip rail. This is the way GM designed these cars back then. They eliminated the drip rail system on it and sealed the windows up with the uh, uh, weather stripping and one solid piece of glass with no uh, encompassed uh, enclosure around them. The um, white whiskers, uh, just as fresh and clean and new as you could hope to find. Uh, this car does have some molding down the side of it. Uh, someone has added this through the years. Uh, door edge guard, they used to call it. Um, people throw a door open on your car. Hopefully it doesn't dent it. In this case, it gave it a little bit of uh, safety. That's a nice look to it, too. You know, it's not something we can remove. Look at this. Look. That door can absolutely not fit any better than it does now. It absolutely cannot. It's totally impossible. Uh, door handle itself. Uh, no patina whatsoever on it. It is tin everywhere. Trim around the back light. It's not tinted glass in this car either. It's just regular clear glass. Hat shelf, flawless. It still has the uh, speaker uh, perforations uh, undisrupted. They're not cracked or broken in between any of them. Uh, where it transitions to the uh, rear of the seat, the top part of the rear seat, there's no, uh, uh, there's no misfitment whatsoever. And all your trim around the back window is just Spot on, it cannot be any nicer than that. This quarter panel is just as nice as the rest of the vehicle. You can see them hiding under there, but there's a correct style set of uh, polished stainless uh, exhaust tips that would have come standard equipment on this car. Now the side of this vehicle is just as fresh and nice a car as you could ever hope to find. Just laser straight, there's not an adjustment to be made anywhere. Uh, door fitment, the hood, the, the grill, everything just right on the money. Firestone, wide oval, white letter tires, by its ply. That's what would have came on that guy from the factory, standard equipment uh, in 1974. On those Argent-centered five-spoke style wheels, which are impossible to find now, everyone wants us to put these and the Chevelles back to the uh, originality that they had, and you can't find them. Guys traded them off for Kragers and Keystones and American Racing and who knows what else. And um, they just got discarded through the years. Those things are super expensive if you go to try to find a set now. These are original. Let's go out back seat. We can show you there. Okay, this is the tail section of our Z28. Uh, again, 
Look at the fitment of this thing and the spoiler, real dramatic rear spoiler on this thing. Functional too. Uh, it really, really adds a lot of character to this vehicle. The way they did the striping, wrapping it up over and then putting Z28 across the back with it wrapping up into the top part of the spoiler. Fantastic design. The gap on this deck lid is just spot on, just like the hood. You cannot fit it any better. It's impossible. Uh, trim around the back light. You can see that again. No marks, no dingies whatsoever. Absolutely none. Tail lights, wrap around tail lights on this guy. The um, anodized aluminum trim around them is absolutely flawless. Nice crystal clear shiny lenses on them yet. Camaro designation on the back. Bumper fitment on the back is just like it was on the front. Why would that be surprise me, huh? Let's see if there's any marks. And there's no marks in the rubber bumperettes whatsoever. Again, the top of this bumper has been polished. Actually, the, the whole bumper's been polished to make it look like uh, a brushed aluminum. Chrome, almost. You could make it look like chrome if you wanted to. Uh, there's not a single mark on that bumper anywhere. Absolutely none. Correct style till. Pipes coming out the back, slash cut, polished stainless steel. Uh, the back end of this car, bumper fitment. Uh, finish everything as, as it was on the uh, side and the front. We have one more side to go yet, and then I think we have one of the nicest cars we have in the building. Let's do that side. Okay, our last side. We're still looking for something. There's tin everywhere. And I, I forgot to mention on the other side, no one's made any attempt to go ahead and modify or grind or in any way alter the fender lip uh, on the inside. So no one's put any big rubber on this thing through the years or modified it in any way. These fender lips are still just as original as they were when they left the factory. Really nice, uh, really nice car. The, uh, again, the roof is just like wet glass. There's no way that you could describe it any, any differently than that. And again, look at this. This is just crazy. Look. <laughs> Wish we could find that on every car. White whiskers, nice and resilient, just the way they should be. I forgot to mention, well, the window, I mean, it, it fits in the entire enclosure, so, you know, there, there's no way that this thing would ever leak, ever. Door handle again, no uh, patina on the chrome. Look at this. This is crazy. It's going to be one of our less expensive cars and one of the best, best fitting cars that we have in the building. It's just everything on this car is just spot on. Z28 designation. Uh, <laughs> Side marker lamp up front. I love the wheels and tires on this car. All original, 15 inch. They, they really give this car a lot of pop, a lot of look. Um, it's a 74 Z28 Camaro, like I said, uh, end of an era. And um, this is kind of the last hurrah for everybody. And General Motors was the, probably the last ones to pull out of it because the 74, I don't think Chrysler or uh, Ford had anything whatsoever that even competed with something like this. This is a performance-oriented vehicle at that point in time. Of course, it's now it's been enhanced to, I'm going to guess, somewhere around 1970 specs. Um, this car is just an exemplary piece of uh, uh, history. We do have documentation with the car. Uh, it, it's a great color combination. I think Corvette called this lapis blue, but I'm not sure. You know, there's a lot of different blues, but I think Corvette uh, called this color a lapis blue. The um, uh, the car just has a whole lot of charisma to it. Uh, the, the fit, the finish, uh, everything about it, a couple of little tiny imperfections which you would not address, uh, we've picked out and we've shown you. So you know that they're there. You've got to look for them, but they're there. Um, a side marker light, I think, that we have to tighten, and that's about it. Uh, we're going to do the rest of the presentation for you. But this car is available at Hangsters here in Daytona Beach, Florida. And uh, like we tell you with all the vehicles, you know, we wish you'd just come down and take a look because this is just one of a whole 
showroom, and then you're not even seeing all of them. We have more than what you see here. There's a, there's more behind that enclosure there. There's some out in the hospital. Some of them are out in the, uh, for some cosmetic surgery, and uh, some of them are in uh, uh, for a uh, outpatient uh, dash lights that don't work and uh, starter that needs replaced or something. But you know, little things that we do before we go ahead and uh, ship the car. This car is here, however, and uh, we just did a presentation for you. We wish you'd come down and take a look at it, but if you can't, that's why Devin goes through 100 photos of this car for you, all high resolution, so that you can take a look at this car in its entirety, every little part of it, so that you can see what you're buying. Um, it takes us, it takes him, about five hours to do each one of these presentations, and that's why we're getting behind. We have eight cars ready for delivery right now, and what I'm trying to say is we're selling the cars faster than we can get them up on the website. We have 40-some cars on the website. We have 80 cars in the inventory right now. So take a look at this one or a whole bunch more here at Hangsters, about 75, 78 more at Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida. Okay, this is the interior of our 1974 Z28 Camaro. Uh, what a great car this thing is. Uh, one piece headliner in it. A nice resilient material yet. It's on a, a hard backing. Uh, really looks good and I don't know if you can notice or not but the dome light works and both kick panel lights are functioning as they should also. This car is an amazing car uh, just really just as new as it was when it left the factory. Uh, dashboard nice and resilient yet a nice padded dash in it. Um, all the trim on the dash is just as fresh and chrome as it was in 1974 when this guy left the plant. Uh, wood grain on the uh, dash enclosure, just the way it was way back when yet. Uh, tachometer, speedometer, and a quadrant of gauges that came with these guys. Uh, original equipment style radio. It's an AM FM radio, but it is original equipment style radio. I can't really tell if it is the original one, but it appears so from its face and its knobs, which are correct knobs for 1970s. Um, <laughs> tilt wheel. There's no deterioration whatsoever to this four spoke. Uh, it appears to be like a wrapped wheel, but they, they, they aren't. That's just the way they were. They were plastic wheels, but they uh, appear to have a wrapping around them. The uh, gauge enclosure is all nice and clean and clear. The, the lenses themselves, um, the, um, the, the wheel has no cracks whatsoever on it. There's no cracks in the dashboard whatsoever. Uh, Hearst type shifter, uh, original style shifter that uh, came on this vehicle in the console and a little enclosure here to keep whatever you want, your cell phone or whatever. It has a console on the uh, um, a lid on the console for a, a, a map pocket, whatever you want to call it. And it, one on the dashboard. And check this out. How about the original packet that uh, General Motors released with the car? Uh, even the original warranty paper information and the original 1974 uh, Camaro owner's manual. Everything's still original. Check and see on eBay just what they want for an original plastic enclosure like this, if you can find one. Check and see what they want for that. Uh, sun visors, there's no deterioration at all on any of the stitching. It's still just as nice as it was when it was new. Obviously, it's got a white interior in it. There's no deterioration on the top part of the door panels or the bottom part. This is soft through here, but the bottom part and the top part, these usually start to deteriorate with age, and the same as the back panels. And uh, this has no deterioration whatsoever. It's just as though it was new back in 1974. The hat rack, um, again, is just as clean and clear as can be. Seat belts in the back, and they are the correct blue. Uh, GM seat belts for this car and shoulder belts in the front also so you have a complete complement of uh, safety equipment uh, on this vehicle. Astro ventilation, all your knobs are still present and functional on it. Um, cut pile carpeting in this guy. It's blue to match the uh, seat belts. Um, original equipment style and they are original by the looks of them, they're faded blue but um, General Motors rubber mats front and back the way this guy would have had an option uh, from the factory in 1974. They didn't make carpet mats back then. They, they had rubber ones just like this and these are the original mats that uh, would have been released in 74 with this guy. Uh, all the trim and chrome on your door including your armrest is all correct and uh, molded just the way it should be. Not covered up with uh, vinyl uh, from deterioration through the years. 
Uh, I don't see anything in this. This thing is just as new a car as you'll ever find. All the rubbers have been replaced and nice and resilient. The door jams themselves are crystal clear, uh, just the way they were in 1974. Um, this is as nice a vehicle as you're ever going to find. Uh, well, I keep it sounds repetitive, and I keep saying that you know at the end of most of these uh, presentations, interior-wise and that. But you really need to take a look at these videos. We spend a lot of time doing them for you so that you can uh, spend some time looking at them and, and help you in your decision on buying a car from Hangsters. Um, Devin, again, takes a lot of time to, to put all this together, to compile all these photographs that we take and uh, the, the videos that we do uh, because they're in different parts. You know, we do an interior and we got to do an outside and we do under the hood and then we do under the car. We got to move it out on the rack and then we got to do a drive and then we have to do the engine sound and the tailpipes. So it takes a long time for us to go ahead and compile this, for him to compile this. I just do the, I just run off at the mouth doing this stuff. But um, we do it for your benefit, you know, so that you can uh, take a look at every car that we present to you at Hangsters and make an intelligent decision from the information that you've been given and the photographs that he supplied you that are high resolution. Um, we really encourage everybody to come down and look at these cars in person. We'd love to meet you and, and, and present the car to you in person, but that's why we do these videos too because we know that if you live in Maine or Washington or who knows, Texas even, uh, you're not going to jump on a bird or you're not going to jump on a car and come and see us. So that's why we're helping you out, doing what we do. Take a look at this one, though. This is a really neat toy. I really like this car a lot. We have a mirror that functions, remote control, just like it should. A tilt wheel, obviously. We have a fuel gauge that shows us between a quarter and a half, which is a lot of fuel for us here in Angster. Amp gauge that is functioning. A clock that is functioning. Are you kidding me? Look, this clock's still working in this thing. Look, unbelievable. Temperature, we just fired it up, so it's just starting to come up. Uh, tack working as it should. <coughs> Speedometer, I'm sure will. Horn working. What about the radio, Devon? What do you think? How about that? We got a radio that works. Unbelievable. Okay, let me think. Wipers. Where the hell are wipers? There we go. Wipers. Wipers functioning as they should. Fantastic. Turn signal. Where's turn signals? No, oh, can't see it, but there it is right there. It's blinking. If it's in this miserable sunlight, you'd be able to see it, but there it is. It is functioning right there, green. Okay, let's try this guy. It is blinking too, see? Can't see it. Sunlight. It's there. Blinking. Okay, so everything in this guy works. How about that? We got wipers, we got everything. We don't have air conditioning in it, but we need something today. I think it's up to about 150 right now. Gonna go for a ride here before it gets into that 200 range. The tranny shifts nice and crisp and smooth. We're gonna get down as soon as these cars go. Look here. No hands, down the road. Oh, we're in the wrong direction. We gotta get correct a little bit there. Now we'll try it. Okay, now we're going to try brake no hands. Stop straight as can be. It's a nice running car. Really nice running Z28. Wow, nice positive steering. No play whatsoever in the steering. Nice tight car. I like this car. First time I got a chance to drive it, we just traded this, and uh, uh, it's just as sweet a vehicle as you'd ever hope to find. Give this thing a little shot out here. You gotta watch 35 mile an hour. Down here. Uh, 
unplayed with uh, 350 Chevy for 1974. This thing uh, feels like it's about a 370 horse uh, LT1 motor to me. Real strong running, real torquey, loves RPMs. Nice tight car. Really nice running car. I like this thing a lot. This is a nice car. Okay, this is the undercarriage of our 1974 Z28 Camaro. It was Z28. I don't know what to do. I just tell you, everything is new and call it a day. That's what I should probably do. But I'll try to point out everything that I can see. Everything on this car is just literally as it was when it was new in 1974. You can see the front spoiler is not even disrupted in any way. Brand new steering box, brand new pitman arm, brand new idler arm. Still have the uh, uh, <coughs> zinc chromate uh, uh, cadmium plating on them. Uh, tie rod ends, all new, ball joints new. Uh, everything on this vehicle is absolutely just the way it was when it was new. New shocks, new springs in the front, new backing plates, new rotors, new calipers, uh, new associated hardware. The uh, uh, A-arms all have new bushings in them, top and bottom. The, uh, let's see, no leaks whatsoever on the motor. Large dampener on it, uh, for sure we know it has a steel crank in it just from that dampener. Uh, there's not even any marks on the uh, uh, engine cradle. Usually these have marks in one spot or another for people jacking them up through the years. This has absolutely none. The uh, fender skirts where they come down in the front aren't bent or deteriorated and marked in any way. The front subframe structure has no marks whatsoever. It doesn't even give any evidence of ever uh, being jacked up through the years. The floors are that, uh, oh, they're a... Uh, uh, a chromate type uh, primer, like an oxide, red oxide that Ford used and manufacturers used to uh, uh, subdue some of the rust issues that uh, were prevalent with these cars back in that era. You can see the standard bell housing. It has an M22 rock crusher tranny in it, which also has no leaks. Bell housing area, no leaks. Tail shaft area, also no leaks. Drive shafts, all new. New U joints, front and back. Um, Sway bar bushings new, sway bar links new, of course. Uh, I'm going to call these guys, I'm going to call them inch and three quarters. They may be even inch and five eighths, but I'm going to call them inch and three quarter primary tube headers. Going to a three inch collector, going into a two and a half inch stainless steel exhaust system with the X uh, type crossover in it, the same as the uh, uh, H pipe that Mopar designed uh, way back when. Um, stainless steel brake lines with the wire wrapping around them heading toward the rear fuel lines the same way with the wire wrapping also stainless steel and then uh, uh, replaced with new all the associated parking brake hardware is also new everything on this vehicle has been replaced with as new or new uh, components floor pans I don't see any marks whatsoever uh, Pinch marks still evident where they were put together at the factory. Floor pans onto the uh, rocker panels. I'm jumping all over the place here. I'm trying to find something that I can even point out to you. That's, uh, the substructures on the uh, floor pans themselves, totally undisrupted. No one's jacked them up on that through the years. The main structure going across here, the back behind the transmission is still just nice and solid, just the way it should be. The uh, torque boxes for the uh, front leaf springs, which have a nice arch to them yet, uh, front to rear. These are really long springs they used on these Camaros. <coughs> Multi-leaf springs in the rear of this thing, and um, they have a real nice arch to them yet. Again, you can see the uh, brake lines heading toward the back, stainless steel and new. Rear sway bar, which would have been part of that Z28 package that was offered. Uh, new uh, yoke on the back. You can see this rear differential has been apart. It has a uh, new seal in it and uh, yellow paint on everywhere there it should be. Ten bolt heavy duty. That's what they used back in that day. Uh, subframes in the back. Again, there's no marks on these subframes. Looks like it's never been jacked up through the years ever. I don't see a single mark on the front or the rear subframes. Got me, but it, it looks like it's just a brand new car at this point. Uh, Four pans where they transition up over the rear differential. There's no uh, marks whatsoever on them. Rear transverse muffler the way it should be. And it uh, goes from a two and a half inch pipe 
uh, into the two and a half inch inlet and outlet for the uh, muffler. So you have stainless pipes also transitioning out of the, I uh, can't tell what make muffler it is, well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, it's a transverse muffler that appears to be stainless steel. The uh, pipes that have the correct style two and a half inch in this case, uh, stainless polished slash cut ends on them. Uh, they were a little smaller from the factory. I think they used about a two inch from the factory to two and an eighth inch from the factory. Polished stainless steel gas tank. How about that? I mean, who goes to that degree to go ahead and uh, finish a car? It's not just a stainless steel gas tank. It's a polished stainless steel gas tank. I never even saw such a thing. Uh, new uh, spring shackles in the back. All new bolts. All new associated hardware. The uh, uh, subframes where they transition up over the rear differential and go to the uh, uh, back where the, the, the uh, main structural part that joins them together. Uh, everything is just as it was when it was new. No marks whatsoever on it. New shocks in the back, conventional shocks, not air shocks or anything. Uh, all new bushings on this rear sway bar assembly. <laughs> uh, drum brakes in the rear. They're fin drums and they're not even uh, rusted yet. They still have that uh, kind of a su shiny silver uh, rust preventative finish that uh, they put on them when they were new and that's what they still retain at this point. The drop downs in the quarter panels are absolute flawless just the way they were from the factory. Pinch wells are still on the bottom of the uh, um, quarter panels where the uh, drop downs transition onto. Uh, I don't see anything. Look, look for yourself. I mean this thing, that was going to show you a bunch of photos of it. But this is as new a vehicle as you can find. This is a brand new, brand new 1974 Z28 Camaro. And guess what? It's an M22 Rock Crusher. It's a three pedal car, so you can have a lot of fun with this guy. Posi rear end. It does have a tag on it. Uh, well, I can't see anything. Parking brake assembly is all new also. There it is. We just went over this entire vehicle. And uh, the undercarriage of this is even more impressive than looking at it from in the interior or going around the vehicle on the outside. Uh, whoever puts this together did it as a uh, labor of love. There's no way anybody spends this much money and this much time bringing a car to this degree of perfection. This is the newest 1974 Z28 on the planet. It's here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach.